welcome to Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people in the Android community. I'm Huyen Dao, and I'm speaking with... Roberto Orju. And Roberto, uh, we're actually in Torino, Italy. We're here for JoinCon Italy, and I'm very lucky to have Roberto sit down and speak with me. Now, Roberto, um, where are you based, and how did you get started in Android? Well, actually, I am based here in Turin. Oh, yes. And, <laughs> and, well, I got started with Android when... I was at university mm -hmm. when I first saw the first uh, screenshot because at the time there was just screenshots here of mm -hmm. Android 1.6. So <laughs> I was like, oh man, I can have a computer in my hands. I love that. I want that. <laughs> so that's how I actually started that. Oh really? So just, yeah. wow. So back to back at 1.6 is when Android called to you and was like, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. The problem was that I couldn't afford an Android until the 2.1 arrived on a old Samsung Corby. So it was like one touch point, um, too many buttons. I was like, oh, well, I don't really like Samsung. <laughs> this is what I, where I started. Are you currently an Android developer as well? And you're working for? Yeah, I'm an Android developer and I work for Nova mm -hmm. here in Turin. Uh, yeah, I started my career quite a few years ago and now I'm happy with that. Yeah, and, and still doing change. Android. Um, yeah. And wearing awesome Android shirts as well. Um, yeah. So, so, so actually, I'm really excited for. I'm always. I always say this. I'm excited to talk to everybody because um, everyone's got a really cool story. Uh, stories in Android. Um, Roberto is actually one of the organizers of DroidCon Italy, where we are right now, and he's also a speaker. And I actually wanted to ask you, Roberto, about your talk because you're talking about zero conf. Yep. And can you can you kind of explain? So I've I've actually um, never heard of zero conf before, and we were just chatting yesterday about it. And can you kind of tell us a little bit about what it is? Yeah, uh, actually, zero conf is pretty interesting because it's the protocol that makes you, uh, for instance, work with Chromecast <laughs> without knowing where is the Chromecast. I mean, um, you buy a new Chromecast, mm -hmm. you set it up, and then you just download the app and say, "Hey, oh, I have a Chromecast. Done." Mm -hmm. I mean, usually when you install some new network device, mm -hmm. you will have, you know, to find its IP, to map it, checking if the DS DHCP server mm -hmm. is giving you the same, the correct address, right. and then connect it. ZeroConf actually does everything that for you. So. Oh, so I actually looked it up. So it's actually, ZeroConf is actually short for zero configuration, and that's what yeah. you're talking about. It does some magic so that basically yeah. it saves you from manually setting up like yeah. a, devices on the on the networks. So in, in, in terms of like Android work, what are you doing in, uh, with Android work with ZeroConf? Well, actually, uh, we are using the ZeroConf in the product uh, that we are selling in my company. And that is an app that lets you migrate data mm -hmm. from any device to any other device. That means that, uh, for instance, you have an iPhone and you suddenly want an Android. Mm -hmm. But, uh, well, you have an iCloud, an iCloud account and Android is not really good with that. Mm -hmm. uh, so you want to rewrite everything to your Google account. Right. So you just install the app on both the devices, mm -hmm. and then ZerConf let you pair the two devices so mm -hmm. that you can share, your, share so, the data. Yeah, really easily just transfer the data from your yeah. iPhone to your phone. That's really cool. Yeah, like, so I, 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 it's targeted to people that aren't really used. I mean, you won't have this problem because you will just you know download on your contact mm -hmm. and upload on Google and say, yeah, I did that, it's okay. But not all the people can do that because not everyone is a developer, luckily. So we have to chat them. No, that's great because that's like you know, as you said, you know, like if you have like you know a Google account, it's not a big deal. But you know, when you have those like different devices on different platforms, it's a really great way of bridging that gap. That's really cool. I like yeah, that. That's nice. So, um, so just to kind of, so you're actually speaking on ZeroConf at yeah. DroidCon Italy, and um, I kind of wanted to ask you, like, how did you get started, like, kind of as as part of the DroidCon Italy organization, and 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 like, yeah, your story in this kind of community event? Uh, well, it was actually pretty random because the first um, the first edition, I met uh, the guys at Synesthesia and that are those that are behind the DroidCon in mm -hmm. Italy, mm -hmm. and. We were actually all interested in that because I was just back from the one in London and said, yeah, why don't we just do that? I mean, <laughs> we can do that. It's, I mean, it's something nice. So yeah. we started organizing and my role was always to just uh, talk to developers mm -hmm. until this year where I got involved much more. Mm -hmm. And so I took care of all the developers and that is also because I'm a developer, so I, maybe I can understand a bit better the needs 
of other de developers. I mean, for instance, something to do after the conference or spaces where you can code together. Yeah, yeah. And, and even taking very good care of us. Like, Roberto has been like a really great, like, I guess, like, liaison, I guess, <laughs> to the rest of the speakers. No, it's, it's, it's been a really great time um, at, at here. So thank you very much. Uh, thank for you for a great coming. Conference. No, it's, it's been fantastic. And um, do you know if all the sessions are being recorded? Um, uh, yeah, not many because, um, as I mentioned by email, we are having some sponsors issues so we could afford to record only some speech that mm -hmm. are those on the big room so but so we'll have some but then, yeah some you know, yeah but for I, sure i think most people are like posting their slides but yeah there's definitely been a lot of great content and i have to like say like um that's been kind of one of my favorite parts of this conference you have a lot of really great content you have plenty of talks not just by developers but just by designers and talking about ux and talking about like kind of just different applications that you know that exist in the android space so the content at, at joycon italy has been really fantastic so i have to com compliment you and the rest of the organizers on that as well it's been really great so, um, so thank you so much, Roberto. If people wanted to find you and follow you on the internet, how can they do that? Uh, well, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, it's underscore Tiwiz, T-I-W-I-Z, or on Google Plus, it is Plus Roberto Ordu, or on Facebook, or Slack, or whatever, I mean. So. Awesome. So, well, thank you so much for joining us, Roberto, and hope to see you maybe next year at Torino as well, or at another conference. So. I hope so. Thanks for having me. Oh, it was, it was a great pleasure, and thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.